Welcome everybody, I'm Dee. I'm Adarius. We're Night's Tracks. We are here at Walt Disney World at Hollywood Studios to tell you five things we absolutely love about this park and five things that we don't. Spoiler alert, this is my favorite part, so it was really hard to come up with that five things I don't list. But let's get started. We're going to have a great, fun day. Do you even like this park? I find it fun. All right. It but is it's not my favorite. <laughs> What's your favorite Disney park? Animal Kingdom. Animal Kingdom. That's right. That's right. All right, let's, yeah. let's, go, let's go have some fun and talk about why Hollywood Studios is the best. But sometimes it's not. The first thing we absolutely love about Hollywood Studios is the music. It immerses you. It's like you're in old Hollywood, the 30s and the 40s. It's just going to engulf you. Yes, I feel like, I just feel like I, half of the time I just want to grab our hands and we're just going to do like the walk tour. <laughs> just dance some jazz down in Sunset Boulevard. Exactly. Yeah, it's so nice to come into a park and just be immersed. The first thing that we really don't love about this park is that there's only popcorn here in the middle. Yeah. It's just, there's this one, there's one over there, there's one over there, that's it. Everywhere else in the park is a popcorn dead zone and we love our Disney popcorn. Yes, yeah, so if you're in Star Wars, good luck. You have to come all the way back up here. Yeah, if you're in Toy Story, no. Even if you're in the very front, over by Rock and Roller Coaster, like it's just not. Um, we did do a video of all of the popcorn locations across all of the four Disney parks, so check that out if you're curious and you love popcorn like we do. Yeah. Bright suns indeed. Bright suns. Bright suns. Bright suns. No what? It's Super okay. bright suns. It's okay. <laughs> Another thing we really love about Hollywood Studios is the intensely themed IP land. So you've got Toy Story Land. You've got Muppet Land, you've got Galaxy's Edge, which is Star Wars. I always want to call it Star Wars Land, but right. they've taken these movies, these series, these big, huge productions, and they've turned them into lands that you can immerse yourself in. And I know that like Magic Kingdom has Adventure Land and Fantasy Land, but they're not a series. They're not a show. Right. You can actually put yourself in the movie, in the show. Yes, and you can interact with the characters. Like, yeah. like they, they actually have characters walking around. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yes, you do have Wayne and Pooh, Tigger, and all that, but they're like in one spot, and you get taking a yeah, photo. But this, this is a whole land. Yeah. I think the only land that rivals this would be Pandora, but they don't have any characters walking around. So. Yeah. You need that guy with the the, the, the big robot. Yeah, the, the big robot guy. On, yeah. But he was on stilts, but it looked like he was a big fighter. So. <laughs> I don't know what happened to him. Why did they take him away? I don't know. I don't know. Man. Yeah, the IP <laughs> theme lands. Top notch. We really, really appreciate that about this park. Yeah. Another thing we don't really like about this park is that I don't think there's enough rides. Like they do such a good job on the rides that are here, and there doesn't seem to be enough rides. I just, I don't know. That's selfish. I just want more. Right. But that kind of segues into the next thing we don't really like about this park, and that's that it's too small. Because then a ride breaks down and everything else goes sky high in wait times and it just creates chaos and there's a lot of bottleneck areas so True that. but honestly if that's the worst thing about the park that's fine it's a favorite part so <laughs> yeah another thing we don't really like is that there's no food at Oga's Cantina I feel like there should be some sort of weird stuff that they can serve out of there with your drinks um, that along with the 45 minute limit. Yeah, like that. If we get why there's not food there. Yeah. But still. Still. You want a snack? Listen, listen. <laughs> the, the, knock that back wall out. Expand the dining room. Make a kitchen. And give us the Star Wars restaurant that everybody wants. <laughs> yeah, at least then you can put like an hour. Oh, well, then you won't be able to fit as many people. Yeah, you don't need a limit then. Don't. Because you're going to expand the dining room. Oh, It'll be that's a full-on restaurant. So they should set a time limit just that, in case. That can be the lounge. You have a limit in the lounge, but then you can make a whole restaurant if you knock out the back wall. True. Yeah. Oh, I didn't think about that. <laughs> <laughs> no, another thing we really, really love about Hollywood Studios are the rides. Each and every single ride is so cool. Muppets, 3D, corny but cool. Um, Rock and Roller Coaster, heck yeah. Um, Tower of Terror, awesome. Slinky Dog Dash and Millennium Falcon. Like, there's not a bad ride here. Yeah. Um, Star Tours makes me a little, but I'll take the Dramamine and then go for it because it's a cool ride. It's not bad, and 
She was a rebel spy, by the way. I was chosen as a rebel spy. <laughs> <laughs> but everything right here is so good. Yes, and I think well, out of all the rides here, do you have a favorite? My favorite is Rock and Roller Coaster. It's down right now for maintenance. But my second favorite is Slinky Dog, so we're gonna go on Slinky Dog. All right, so I got a question for y'all. Yeah. Um, can y'all guess my favorite ride? It, it might be yeah. the obvious answer, but it's not. It's not obvious at all. <laughs> yeah, I know which one you're probably gonna go for. It's, it, just leave your leave your guesses in the comments down below. Yes. <laughs> That's a squeaky penguin bath toy. Um, not for use in water. <laughs> I have been here so many times and I just realized that is the fence of the backyard. Are you just realizing it? Yeah, I, I just, that's so funny. Another thing that we're honestly surprised about that we really love about Hollywood Studios is the food. Yes. Mama Melrose, our go-to. Roundup Rodeo Barbecue. That's our second go-to. Second go-to. <laughs> 50s Prime Time. Our go-to. The Hollywood Brown Derby at the Lounge. Uh, the go-to like. Woody's Lunchbox. You you love the, the uh, Pop Tarts. <laughs> Backlot and ABC Commissary have some good options too. The, the 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 food stands around the park like their drinks. I mean like. There's not a the the old ice cream place over there by. Hollywood Tower of Terror. Oh yes, yes, yes. There's just so many good options here. And yeah, there's a few duds, but this park, if we're hungry, we go here. Like Magic Kingdom, we don't really want to ever eat there. Epcot, everything's so small and expensive. We yeah. don't ever want to eat at Epcot. We do. Animal Kingdom, a couple good options, but Hollywood Studios, great options. Across the board. <laughs> a plus. Plus, plus, plus. <laughs> The last reason that we love Hollywood Studios for, probably the best reason, is Fantasmic. Great show. One of the best shows we've ever seen. Um, if you sit in the front, you get wet, so during the summer it's a great cool off. And it can seat so many people, and every view is a really good view. So, yes. you're not going to have a bad time. It's going to be great. There's fire, there's pyrotechnics, there's singing, there's dancing. The dragon! The, oh. Spo spoilers, but yeah, oh. there is one. <laughs> oh my bad, uh, you didn't hear that. There's a there's flotillas, there's there's a mermaid, there's projections on water. It's just it has a little bit of everything, and there's a little bit of everything for everybody, from the old to the new and back again. Like it's just a great great family show. It's a great couple show. Bring back the dessert party though. We want the dessert party. And the uh, the unlimited margarita. With the secret. <laughs> Unlimited margaritas, but they wouldn't call them that. They would oh. just call them. Um, oh, I'm if sorry. You, if you ask for a refill nicely, they would give you one. And then if you ask for another one, they would give you another one. And then if you ask for another refill, they would give you another refill. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you, skip that part. You didn't hear me. <laughs> but bring that back also. Wink, <laughs> wink. <laughs> and I think my most favorite part about waiting for the show is the wave. Everybody yes. <laughs> does the wave every time you're waiting for the show. Um, so if you're waiting for the show and nobody's done it yet, start it. Start, yes. Start the wave. Yes. <laughs> it, nothing like a good wave, and especially if you were the one to start it. You're like, yes. Everyone's a little too shy. They want to do it, but not everybody's going to step up to the plate. You, you gotta, have what it takes. You got to be that guy. You got to be that guy. <laughs> the worst thing and our fifth thing that we really don't like about Hollywood Studios is the parking lot stinks. Yeah, so not like literal stink. Just. It's so long this way that it doesn't matter that there's a tram and the tram is back. It's just, it, it's, it's a bad parking lot. Okay. Yes. <laughs> the, the rows are too long, but I get it. It's like a short and long, I get whatever. <laughs> but you know what? If, if that's the worst complaint, who cares? It's yes. Disney World. You know you're going to park and walk, so. We need some walking, we need some walking time, some cardio. Yeah, get your steps in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Don't want to. Especially when the real pill will be like 110 outside. Oh, but the worst. The worst. Bring an umbrella. Just in case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. bring an umbrella <laughs> for the shade. Um, and for the pop up thunderstorm in the summer that happens like every day. Yes, even if it says it's going to be 100% sunny, we still bring the umbrella for shade. Yeah, UV umbrella, <laughs> sunglasses, sunscreen. Yeah. It's going to be hot this summer. But uh, we hope that you come and enjoy Disney's Hollywood Studios. Let us know down in the comments below what your favorite park is or if this is your favorite park. 
what do you love about it the most? Yes. Thank you so much for trekking with us. Thank you to our current subscribers. If you'd like to subscribe, hit the red button. Also hit the like and um, ring the bell. That way you're alerted to any new videos that we drop. And thank you to our members because they get videos first and exclusive videos that you'll never see. So become a member, join today, <laughs> hit the join button down below, become an exclusive trekker, and we'll see you real soon. Yep. Bye. Bye.